Hello, folks. Good afternoon. I wanted to share, um, I had sent, uh, created a video recently about um, making a project that would use a form to copy a uh, event uh, that you submit on a form over to a calendar. And I have a video on that you can see in, in the channel. But I uh, had added these two features in here so you could, from the sheet, you can update and delete, but it requires you having a checkbox. And the script that we have, we, we've at, we have these scripts and we, this was all part of the other video, but you have the create event, the update, and the delete calendar events. The way the delete and update calendar events work is it evaluates whether this checkbox in every row is true, meaning checked, and if it is, then it, it executes the script. Otherwise, it ignores it. But in order to have these checkbox, when you create an event, you need to um, have a checkbox added. And if you just were to copy all these checkboxes down, that would cause a problem because when you add a new event, uh, through the form, it's going to create a new row and it's not going to have, have a checkbox. So what we needed to have happen is have these checkboxes get added automatically on form submit. When you add a new uh, event with a form, you wanted to have a new checkbox and, uh, put in there. So what we've done is um, I wanted to go over this real quickly. So, so the way this create script works, we've gone over this, you have your calendar ID, we are identifying the rows and the columns and in, in these uh, lines here, and down here we're identifying the header column and we're getting the value of the, of the header. And the reason we're doing this this way, um, th there's a reason I do it this way, and that's because, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move that space out of there. So what you're doing when you do it this way is you're getting the index of the, the, the constant name, event name, description, start date, end date, and status. Those are all the, the column headers uh, on the sheet. And if you do it this way, it means you could move those, um, those columns could be moved in the spreadsheet and the script would still work correctly. Um, let me get rid of some more of this space here and come up and get rid of that just so we can see more of this. So that's really how th this is working to, um, uh, to, to create a, uh, an event and when an event is created to add these delete and updates. So we're, we're basically defining, we're getting the headers and then we have the data. The data is the range of values of the uh, entire sheet. And then we're um, getting the data. We're running through a loop. And we're getting the event name, description, start date, end date, and status. And then what we're saying is if the status, if the status is not, um, well, if the status is blank, in other words, if there's nothing in the status column, then we're going to get um, we're going to get these event uh, cells: the current cell, the status cell, the calendar ID cell, the delete cell, and the update cell. And then we're going to create the event, and the event is you know using is the calendar. We've defined the calendar up here. Uh, that's the calendar, so it's going to get that calendar. It's going to create an event using the name, the date, the end date, and the description. That's going to get put onto the calendar. And then once that calendar event is created, we're going to create, we need an event ID, which we get with this event. We get its ID, so we've got the new event. We get the ID of the new event. And then this is the part I wanted to go over today. So in the current cell, we will mark the value complete. Well, the complete is this value event added. We will, in the event cell ID, um, the event ID cell, we're going to place the event ID. We got that here. 
And then in the delete cell, that's going to be the cell uh, in the row underneath the column header delete, we're going to insert a checkbox. And then under update, we're going to insert a, insert a checkbox. So that is how I've gone to, to be able to, when I add a new form, it's going to create the status event added. It's going to bring in the uh, current uh, event ID. It's going to add a delete and add an update column. So if I were to run the create event ID right now, nothing's going to happen because it's evaluating the status. Now, if I were to um, go ahead and um, use the form and add a new row, it's going to execute on form submit, and it's going to bring in an event added. It's going to bring in the event ID, and it's going to insert a checkbox in each of these rows so that we would have, in each of these two columns in this row, so that we would have a checkbox available if we want to update from the uh, sheet, update or delete. So again, uh, the, in this video, I would just wanted to show a pretty simple uh, extra lines in here. I identified which cell the delete cell is and which cell the update cell is. And then I'm using those cells to insert checkboxes. So on form update, we will get checkboxes. I hope this is helpful.